You've seen them all the time. Hell, quite literally everywhere. But when you finally learn how to make it, you'll end up watching some crappy deep glow and drop shadow tutorial. How does one achieve such great text, you think? Well, good news, because today I'm going to be your savior and tell you two ways on how to make this clean, crisp bevel text. Launch up your edit and start by making your text layer by clicking Control shift alt y and type in whatever you want your text to say. From here, add all the basic adjustments to your text. Don't add any glow stuff, just add some adjustments. Maybe change the fonts or the color, or maybe add some basic animation. Once you have your text ready, it's time to add the first bevel settings. Go over to the effects and presets panel and search out bevel alpha and add it to your text. Change the edge thickness to 14 and light intensity to 0.6. Go back here and add deep glow to your text. Click on this, change the exposure to 0.85, put the radius to 900. Go back and add drop shadow to your text, put opacity to 100, distance to 6, softness to 36. Apply another drop shadow and put the opacity to 100 again. Now put the distance to 0 and the softness to 530. Preview your text in full and it should look a hell of a lot cleaner. I went ahead and turned it to red to show that crisp bevelness better. For method 2, have your text ready again, but this time start by adding deep glow. Click this, exposure to 0.85, radius to 900. Add a drop shadow and turn the opacity to 100. Distance to 15, softness to 20. Now go down here and left click on your text layer. See this pop up and go to layer styles. Then click on bevel and emboss. This will pop up and click on the arrow right underneath it. And all these settings will pop up. Start by changing this technique box to chisel hard. Then the depth to 166, size to 7, and the soft to 16. Finally, you can go ahead and mess around the colors to see which one suits the text the best. And now you have two really clean bevel text settings. But wait, you're still flopping, aren't you? Find out how I practically went viral on a new TikTok account in 30 days, right here.